Hi, welcome to Conversion Conversations. This is Cameron, and today I'm doing what I think is going to be my last uh, Tuesday Transformers video for a little while. Uh, today we're taking a look at Transformers... Uh, I keep calling it crossovers, but I guess that's not what they call it now. It's Transformers Collaborative. Uh, and this is the Expanse from X-Men. It's Ultimate Expanse. It is the Blackbird, and it is beautiful. Um, normally I don't look at boxes, but for this guy, I mean, this is just one amazing box art. Love that art. Two, like, this takes me back, that color scheme takes me back to the 90s. Uh, they got me and my nostalgia button 100% here. Uh, we can just take a quick look around again. Lovely art. Um, yeah, and I'm really, really excited to get this guy. The reason this is going to be my last Tuesday video for a little while is... Uh, because I was, I was normally, I only do videos on Saturdays. Uh, I was doing Tuesdays because I just had a bunch of toys sitting waiting to be reviewed, and I figured I'd just knock them out. So this means that I'm kind of all caught up, so I'm just going to be going back to Saturdays, and then Tuesdays is going to be probably going back to Transformers TCG stuff starting next week. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. That doesn't mean I'm not, like, doing giveaways and stuff. I'll, I'll still be doing some of those uh, here and there. You'll see as things come out. But yeah, let's go ahead and crack this guy open and see what's inside. All right, we got everything out of the box. I just want to show this back piece real quick because this is something uh, that I didn't see before. I always have been a, I've had a very soft spot for these cutout diagrams when I was little. Uh, my parents would sometimes buy me art books that had like uh, cutout diagrams for like Star Wars spaceships and stuff. So that's always really neat. Um, yeah, I, I just, I like seeing that. Um, and like this is the custom X-Men Blackwing um, from the 90s show, and it looks really, really amazing. So we'll get this out of here. We'll get this out of here. Uh, we're going to bring it down a little bit. Get this crap out of here. And uh, we're going to button him up and then come right back to look at him. All right, so here is Ultimate Expanse in alt mode. And again, this is a, a real good looking Blackbird. Um, I'll say for the add-on bits, like the little figurines don't do anything for me. Um, they're cool, Wolverine and Sabretooth. I mean, nothing wrong with that. Um, they don't have a ton of paint on them. They're little guys. I guess people who, like I'm a big X-Men fan, um, but non-posable figures don't really do much for me. Maybe you could store them with some board game parts or something. Uh, it's funny to me that they did include these though, because maybe it's like, oh, these should be to scale. But if you look at this, like, the Blackbird's a big plane. Like, this, uh, you know, he's obviously not fitting in there anytime soon. Uh, so that's just funny to me. We also get these custom effect parts, which I believe are new for the figure. I don't think these came from Transformers Legends or anything. 
Um, so I dig, I dig the pieces that we do have here. And then, yeah, uh, the Blackbird itself looks really great. Uh, this is, what I've been told in what I've read, is that this is a remold of the Studio Series um, Blackbird. Uh, oh, crap, what's that character's name? Um, the the Seeker from the Revenge of the Fallen movie. That shows how much I care about the Bayverse movies. I, I can't even remember his name. Jetfire. Holy crap. It's it's Jetfire. Um, Studio Series Jetfire, which is, to me, really incredible what they've done with it. One, it looks really good. I mean, this is nice and long. Let's, let's compare him to a leader class figure real quick. So here is Leader Sunstorm. Uh, Combiner Wars Leader Sunstorm. And yeah, I mean... The, the length is there, but also just the heftiness of it. They feel, this feels like a leader class figure from uh, the old days when they were a little bigger. Um, I really like the look of these together. I was trying to think of what sort of comparisons in alt mode would go with this, um, but I, I didn't feel like there was a value in showing off the Top Gun uh, jet because they just have very different aesthetics. Um, I figured, like, let's show it to a leader, and then we can just look and focus on uh, the alt mode because it looks so pretty. Love the yellow they use. I was really worried about this when it came out, uh, or when it was announced, how the yellow paint would actually look in real life because yellow paint doesn't always look great, but that color yellow, they nailed that X-Men yellow. They've got, you know, black accents where they need it. We've got that transparent pink plastic up front. I uh, love these black, this matte black finish uh, over here. Uh, the wing tampos turned out real, real well. From the side, like, that's not terrible. Like, yes, this has the problem that every jet mode has, which is almost every, not everyone, but almost every jet mode has the problem of, oh, there's a robot hanging out underneath here. But honestly, like, this is not just a robot. There's going to be transformation involved here. We can see his crotch and stuff. Um, we can see where his arms are going to be. Uh, but it's not like he's just down here like Silver Bolt <laughs> often is. Uh, so in that regard, you know, I am down uh, to clown with this guy. Uh, I I'm really happy with just how much they managed to smush things down. It's got me kind of curious to check out Studio Series Jetfire. I just don't like the look of that robot mode, and that's what's preventing me from picking it up. Um, but so I'm glad I got to try... Uh, the mold out in uh, some colors that I much prefer and a robot mode that I much prefer. But yeah, that looks amazing. Uh, so let's go ahead, we'll get these out of the way, and we'll get him transformed. Okay, let's take a break from transforming Ultimate Expanse to identify our winner of the Transformers Generation Selects Deep Cover. So again, the rules are always the same. Uh, we're going to scroll down here. Uh, anyone who left a comment saying they'd like to enter the giveaway uh, over here. Uh, I gave a heart to to just keep track. Um, and then I put you on a list over in the uh, Google Sheets side of things. Uh, and if you left a comment that didn't say you want to enter the giveaway, that's just fine too. Like uh, Thomas here, um, he just wanted to say that, hey, he really liked the Netflix version. And I appreciate that, uh, but that helps me decide who's in the giveaway and who's not. Um, Kalpana, uh, she... Oh, because she made two comments, that's why. I was wondering why I didn't have a heart there. There's a heart on this one, and then uh, not on this one. Obviously, one entry per person, uh, but that's no big deal. Um, all right, so that is uh, all the entries, and then we had 44 people enter Deep Covers giveaway, which... I think is more than I'm, I'm let me look back uh Grimlock might have had more than that Grimlock had 43 oh no okay deep cover I think might be the most popular giveaway I've done so far uh so we're gonna pick random between one and 44 and our winner is number 30 who is number 30 number 30 is prime the pro uh prime the pro you won Transformers Generation Selects Deep Cover. So uh, because you won, you've got one week to get back in touch with me. You can do it via uh, Twitter, via Discord, uh, on the About page on YouTube. Uh, you can go to the About page and you can you know look up all the different social media that the whole Arbitrary Hero team has. Uh, the ones that say Cameron, that's me. 
Uh, hit me up on any of them, and then I will get Deep Cover shipped out to you as soon as possible. Congratulations, and let's get back to the review. To start out with the transformation, first thing we're going to do is we're going to flip up our landing gear at the bottom here, uh, front and back. We can flip him over, and we're going to separate the engines from the fuselage. There is a hook piece that sits on a tab that we can just unplug on both sides, like so. Let me make sure I got that actually in shot. Uh, so here's the hook, there's the tab. We can straighten out our robot mode legs. Uh, we can come in and straighten out our feet, kind of just get those bits out of the way. And on this side. And the leg transformation is really, really cool. I, I really, really dig what they do here. Um, and, and again, it's one of those things that's like, maybe Studio Series Jetfire would be awesome. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna open up these panels on each side here. And I love how this, uh, one, it disguises the legs as these uh, jet engine intakes, but also, uh, it reveals so much mechanical detailing that it's just really, really neat to me. We can come in and there's two joints here on each side that we can come in and straighten things out on. This piece of the leg is going to collapse down just against this for now. And then we can come in on our, uh, let me, you know what, probably we want to bring things up a little bit. There we go. Um, so we can come in on our intake and we can open it up and it is also on a double joint that lets us slide it back down here. Now we can come in and split our jet engine casing, the nacelle. Our nacelle comes out and we rotate both sides. We come out, it's on a double joint. We rotate both sides, same thing on this side, bring it out, rotate it, and then we're just going to collapse it back down. Uh, building us an upper leg, which I just think is really, really awesome. Uh, we can close, oops, don't close here, uh, close the foot down against uh, where his ankle's gonna attach. And then the parts of the nacelle that we opened up earlier, they are actually gonna help tab down around the leg that we just constructed. So it's got this multi-layer interlocking construction that gives it this like armored leg piece look. That just, that looks really, really awesome to me. Uh, we can come in and bring the leg down. And that is one leg done. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. So again, come in, extend uh, this piece up and then extend those joints out fully. Uh, down on the, uh, flip it this way maybe, uh, on the inlet, we're gonna bring that down, it's on a double joint, bring that down, come in and separate out our nacelle, flip things around on both sides, recollapse them. Oh, that just, that clicks and feels so good when it happens. Uh, come in and close up our leg piece, our, our foot, uh, and then close up the leg armor bits. Uh, we'll put that wing back on in just a second. But yeah, that, that looks sweet. That looks really, really sweet. We can stick his wing back on. Um, I think, oh, actually I probably missed a step. We want to, uh, this <laughs> piece, uh, we want it extend it out, which we probably need to undo the armor here. Get this some space. So I, my complaint is, I mean, these don't have pin joints because they're pretty thin plastic. Um, but as a result of not having a pin joint, uh, these two wing pieces do fall off pretty easily. Um, so in terms of complaints about uh, what this figure does, that's one of them. That To me, it's not the biggest deal, but it is something to be aware of. It's, it's a wee bit fiddly. All right, so there it is all closed up. Same thing on this side. We can open that up all the way. And then we can extend down our leg, have him standing and uh, work on this upper body. And the leg transformation is the really cool part. The upper body does everything it needs to do, but I just really, really liked 
uh, we can see there like the shape the legs take this multi-layered armored design they have uh, just looks really really awesome and it makes it feel just as much of an X-Men figure as it does um, a Transformers figure. We're gonna come up top, actually you still can't see that, can you? There we go. Come up top, split apart his arms. They're double tabbed in. We can bring them down and to the sides. Each arm uh, has this like flat piece that was tabbing together. We're gonna rotate it 90 degrees and bring it down and build him some decent looking forearms. Otherwise they'd be way too spindly. Again, I like that they're using multi-layered locking approaches to build out shapes and panels and things. Uh, on his uh, chest, we can flip down his big X insignia, and that looks amazing. Uh, come down with the chest. It's on a double-sided armature here. It can come down below his head and close up. And there we get our robot face, and that is pretty awesome. Uh, the rest of his robot mode, can we, <laughs> basically we just have to hide the Blackbird. Um, we're going to start out uh, down here and we're going to separate uh, these two pieces uh, on the fuselage. We can come in and they separate out on their own armatures. We can pull out uh, his wings here, which folds his whole back section out and away. Uh, letting us hide the rest of the Blackbird. Um, so, uh, just so we can kind of get it in picture. Uh, fold down the cockpit. Uh, keep those pieces out of the way. Fold down and around. Oop. Fold this piece. If we can get it down and around. There we go. We would just want to make sure it's flush with the armature holding the cockpit in place. Fold the cockpit down, fold this whole piece down, and it goes securely into his backpack. It's got two pegs there that you just smush everything in. And then the rest of his backpack comes up and closes over uh, like so. Coming in with this piece. Oop. Let me make sure I got that right. There we go. And then his wings can come up, giving him, you know, some cool robot mode wings. And these pieces just kind of stay above him. Bring it down. And here we've got Ultimate Expanse in robot mode, and he looks pretty sweet. Um, I mean, he's an X-Men, but the, just the armored approach, the way his legs and things are designed, it does also give me some touch uh, of the mutant hunters. Um, I just think it looks really, really good. I love the paint. Again, we've got this amazing color work. The yellow works just about everywhere. It feels just on the utility belt a little light here, just some edges of that. Um, it starts, the plastic underneath starts popping through. There might be a little paint uh, defect there. But other than that, it, I, I really, really dig it. Um, he looks uh, like a Transformer, but he also looks like he could fit uh, as one of the auxiliary X-Men members, you know, maybe he's a mutant transformer instead of a mutant human or something. Uh, he looks great. In terms of articulation, we've got really good uh, head waggle. We got a uh, swivel joint on the base of the neck and then the head, the whole head can go up and down so you can get that laser visor pointed wherever you want it. Uh, these shoulders, 360 no problem, go up so far. There's a nice bicep joint there. There is bicep swivel, a bicep joint, elbow joint there, bicep swivel. Uh, there is wrist swivel, which I appreciate. If you can notice by the way he's rocking, he does have waist articulation, which is really impressive to me. I love that. Look at that range of motion. That's amazing. Um, he can full Van Dam due to transformation. He does have, uh, a double jointed knee, which lets him get nice and deep even with his little armor pieces. He's got, oh, he's got thigh swivels and he's got ankle tilts and toe tilts. So yeah, you can get him in some great and dynamic poses. Uh, he's also got effect parts out the wazoo. So let's see, uh, what do we say? Claws on the left, like so. Actually, maybe they need to flip. Claws on the left, 
sword on the right, and he's got his weird, I guess, is this for, I thought this would go on his head, but now that I'm looking at it, like, that's way too small, isn't it? Um, who knows where this thing goes? Well, probably the box tells Oh, it's for him to, like, control one of the mutants or something. Um, that's fine. I don't... I don't think I don't think I care about that. Okay, uh, but yeah, other than that, like he he's just awesome looking. Um, again, in terms of comparing him to other robots, like he is so much his own thing. Let's just pull in the rest of the collaborative line and take a look at them all. I will say that Expanse is my favorite collaborative figure right now. Uh, the Ghostbusters Ectotron is easily my second favorite. Uh, then I think it's the Back to the View, uh, Future DeLorean. Uh, and then lastly, we've got our second jet former here, Maverick. Um, I like this mold, as I said in my other review, it's just that color scheme. I mean, look, look at this like a toy, a good toy color scheme versus them trying to be like realistic with the movie tie-in. Uh, yeah, it, Expanse is wonderful. I easily, easily recommend him. Uh, he's just a really good leader figure. He's a really cool uh, reference if you're a, a, an X-Men fan. Um, yeah, he's just absolutely worth your money. Uh, and it's cool to see how this line has shaped up. Uh, everyone looks very different. Like, this, to me, doesn't feel like a cohesive lineup. Uh, but that's not what it's trying to be. It's not trying to be a team of crossovers. It's each one is an individual uh, crossover that's an awesome reference to a favorite media franchise of the past. And that's all I need it to be. So it's really great. Um, I think that's it for the video. And I will catch you all later. Have a great day, everyone. See ya.